D&D gang, what's going on guys? So in today's video, a little bit of dry fly action from the Delaware. Actually the first dry fly fish from the Delaware this year turned out to be a giant. So uh, the funny thing is somebody, some idiot, me, decided to maybe save a little bit of room on an SD card for a future fishing trip. I erased half of the day, which kind of sucks. I put seven fish in the net on this episode. Uh, the part that you're unfortunately not going to see. The funny thing is, although having the WBT stone fly on all afternoon, the dominant fly was the orange crush in a size 16, the smaller size orange crush. Five of the seven were on that. So if you guys, if your local waters are starting to get warm and you're headed off to the tail waters, if you're going to go to the Delaware, hop on the website, link in the description, ddflies.com, buy some of the orange crush in a size 16. I think from this point forward, they're going to start to take over. You can go back in the channel, look at my video from last year, Fishing with Scott of PA Woods and Water. Did really well on the Orange Crush that day and even a following episode after that. So I think this is the time of year to where that Orange Crush starts to take over. It should be good all the way through November from here. So I think that's the fly to go with right now if you're going to hit the Delaware. The smaller sized Orange Crush. So consider that. Consider placing an order at Sports Channel at the same time. Now, what I need from you guys is a lot of constructive criticism. Maybe not even criticism, just suggestion. After I play this clip for you guys, after you see what happens, this trout just grew and grew. It got bigger. It got bigger. It was in a tight spot, crazy situation. You'll see everything that goes down. I need to know what you would have done in this situation because it was one of those where I'm just like, I don't know. What do you do? You just hold on for dear life? I mean, that never works. You got to have a plan. So let me know, what would you have done in this situation? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, all that other good stuff as well. Slap a like on the video. Double check and make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I got some sick videos coming up. Two unbelievable trips deep in the Adirondack Mountains. Lots of fish in the net. Um, and a special guest here on the channel. A very special guest. One of the biggest content creators out there right now for east of the mississippi may be the biggest so i think you guys will be shocked to see him here on the channel in the adirondacks pretty cool farmington video as well i mean there's a there's a there's a landslide of content coming so uh definitely make sure you're subscribed i'll see you guys in the next video all right first dry fly attempt of the year just got a little sulfur might be a 14, but I think it's a 16. It just looks a little bit long. We're going to see if we can get that fish we saw earlier over here. Definitely feels different than a Euro rod. A lot of drag. I gotta go upstream. Too much drag, way too much. All right, big Isonychia, size 12. Gonna blind cast this a little, see if there's some hungry fish in there. It's still a lot of drag, but. Oh, got him, I got that one. He took the Iso, the same fish over on the side we saw earlier. Oh. I saw him at the last second. Came up and took the Isonychia. Wow, how about that guy? Second cast. Tried the sulfur. We threw it over there. You saw me multiple times. Same exact spot. And he wanted the big Isonychia. How about that? We'll see if we can get him. I'm on 6X. I'm on extremely light tippet right now. Luckily, it's not like a gigantic fish, but I think it's pretty nice. We'll see if we can get it. That was really fun. This is the first dry fly fish of the year. 
I don't know, it is pretty nice fish. Oh my gosh, guys, really big one. It's like 18 inches. I thought it was, what? I thought it was like a foot long. This is a very big trout, especially for a dry fly. Very big trout. It's actually a guy walking down the bank right now. I wonder if he'll help me net it. Wow, it's a big brown. Might be a 20 incher. Holy crap, how is it getting bigger? It's like a 20 incher. On a dry fly. I really wish I wasn't on 6X. This is stupid. Look at this, looks like I'm snagged. It's a huge trout. Really big brown. I can't even move it. I can't even move this fish. But I can see it, it's just swimming there. It's like 20 inches. Really big trout. Look at that, big brown, big brown, big brown. Look, Look at that. that, big. Shoot, I'm on 6X, oh, it came off. Good news, bad news, bad news is, there's no way to get that fish back. The good news is, it didn't break my line. Here's the fly, it just came out. I'm on, got one, nice one. Running pretty good. Flashy olive every time. Kills it in this river. This feels like a big fish, big head shakes. It ran pretty good. I mean, the water's murky today. This might be our opportunity to get in some large fish on this highly pressured river. Yeah, this big one. This big fish, guys. This is a really big fish. Let me see. I'm just gonna lower my rod tip here and kinda do some small strips. All the way down through. Is that a fish? Yeah, it is. Huge fish. Huge fish. I thought that was a snag. Maybe I hooked it sideways, but it feels heavy, boys. On the last cast, is this an absolute giant? It feels so heavy. If this is not, if it's foul hooked, that's an answer. But oh my God, this feels heavy. This feels like, this feels like a huge fish. It's a barbless fly and it came right out of that right out of the heart. This is a giant. I'm telling you guys right now. It's a giant fish. I haven't even seen it yet. Okay, what's our drag like? Okay, 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 okay. We did it on the last cast again. Look at him just swim along the bottom. Oh my God, it's just like going along the bottom. It feels like it's the bottom moving. He's going back up now. This is a giant fish. Like this doesn't exist in the Aussable. This doesn't exist. Look at this. It's just going along the bottom like a train. It wants to go under this rock. I don't like that. And I don't even know how big it is yet. Again, it could be foul hooked. Wow, look at it fight though. It just feels, it's just, it's, you know when you, if you guys have experience fishing, when you hook something like this, I mean, I thought I snagged it first. Look at my rod. There's no way this thing's, it's gotta at least be pretty big unless it's hooked sideways. No, there's some, there's pretty significant weight there. 